Hi, welcome back to Prof. Paul B. Uh, now we're going to look at the second part of our problem. Uh, remember in the first part we uh, we created this loop. While true, we're going to do this and let's take a look at what that gives us. Okay, we come, go up, check, go up, check, go up, check, go up, check. And when we check here, we got the guy front is clear and we'll break. What does break do? It takes us out of this loop. Okay, so now remember what we had to do is we had to bring the ball or the thing down to Street 5 Avenue 6. Okay, so right now I'm right at the edge of the wall and there's nothing, there's no wall in front of me. I, I've reached the top. So now I can say guy.move and I'm going to turn right to head south. And what am, I, what am I going to do now? So I moved, I turned right, now I want to go down. So I'm going to, I got this code here, because I'm going to go back down to street 5. I can just copy, paste, and so what's the last thing I want to do when I'm there? Guy dot put thing. Compile. Oh, oh, I guess it code one. What happened? Guy dot colon. I don't know why sometimes I put the colon. Okay. So that should be a semicolon. And now we're good to go. And let's see. Right if the thing is going to end up here. We're going to speed it up a little bit. And go down, pick it up, check, 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 go. Go down and put it, voila. Okay, it's solved. Well, what we could do is we could see, well, change the wall a little bit. Okay, let's, let's make the wall a little bit smaller. Okay, okay, we're going to take away couple of remember commenting is your friend okay we're gonna take a little bit few wall the wall see now it's a lot shorter it still works okay and remember we already tried it if there was no wall at all okay so what I want to do now is so we have the code here's the code okay this this was just going down to go there. The guts of the code really is here, right? That's the that's the algorithm that um, that we could have that that brings us to the other side of the wall. And you know what? When I see something like that, this is an algorithm that actually does uh, the something. It it's uh, to cross the wall or to reach the top of the wall. You know what? I'm going to put that in a method. I, I kind of like that's it's it's a uh, it's an algorithm that's really doing a specific purpose and I think it might not be a bad idea I'm gonna call it static I'm gonna call it um, uh, go to edge go to wall go to wall top I think yeah that sounds good go to wall top and what I need is I need I'm going to need an instance of my robot dude. Okay. And you know what? I'm going to call it R. Just in case if there's any other robot that I get around, I'll be able to use this method. Well, I could use it even if I called it guy, but it's, it's a little bit misleading. So if I just take this whole chunk, do control X, and come in here. To control V and oh but now see I have R so that's the variable that name that I'm using within this method but here I have guy so I have to replace the guy with R okay so now what I have to do here I gotta call this guy go to wall top so I put that here and here and let's compile. Oh, I got an error. What is the error? Invalid method declaration return type required. Oh, what 
am I going to return? I'm going to return nothing. Okay, well, let's compile it. Ooh, another error. What's up this time? Okay, um, in across the wall cannot be applied to bracket bracket. Okay, what does that mean? Cannot be applied to bracket bracket. Hmm. Oh, look at that. The go to wall top as expecting a robot, and we're uh, we're not supplying a robot. Okay, let's do that. Oh, we're compiling. Let's try it again to make sure everything is works while it's in a method. Well, so far so good. Works. Okay. So now what I want to show you. So now we can concentrate on this method. I kind of wanted to to isolate this this bit of code. I want to show you that because I have here while true and then I'm breaking. There's actually another way of doing this that, um, in a sense, is a little bit cleaner. I did want to show this method because sometimes there are occasions when you're going to build a, a what looks like an endless loop and then a condition that'll break out of it. There are some conditions when this happens. When, when this is a tool of choice. But right now, I can do something that's a little bit nicer because what I can do, instead of having wall true and then checking here, because notice I'm checking right at the end, and then it's going back to the, it, then it, it's a top checking, and then it's going back to the top, and it's it's saying true wall. If I'm checking here and I'm saying get out right at the, right at the bottom of the loop, why don't I just put that as my, this as my condition here? right then I don't need this if it makes it a lot cleaner and what I'm doing is I'm saying well while the front is clear okay well let's try this you know, something seems a little bit weird here but let's try it out okay, compiles let's try it while front is clear so I'm not 100% sure about that okay let's go let's go oh okay so that's not good so so it's part uh, well, front is clear. So front was not clear. So it didn't... Oh, so it didn't go in here. If it didn't go in here, then it tried to move. So really what I want to... I want to do this loop as long as the front is not clear. Well, how do we do that? Remember, how do we do a not? How do we negate? It's just using the exclamation mark or the bang. Or the so now I'm going to try compile and let's bring it back down and let's start it up up oh, much better okay so really our loop here now is while the front is not clear so that makes a lot of sense because while the front is not clear what does that mean while there's a wall while there's a wall in front of me turn left that means that means to go up uh, move no, turn left means to turn in the direction here. Let me see, no, 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 let me open it up just so it's easier to explain. So what's this? What's this loop doing? Okay, it says while the and let me I'll bring it up to the wall. Stop. Okay, so right now I am facing the wall. Guy is facing the wall actually. And I'm checking that the, this loop is while the front is not clear. Turn left. Turn left means, oh, it's going to be pointing up. And move. It did, it did two. It turned left and it moved. And then turn right. Actually, I can probably slow this down. Turn right by one, two, three. And now we're back at the top of the loop. Is the front, is front clear? If front is clear is true, then we're going to get out of this loop. But now it's false, so this condition is true. So we're going to do it again. And right now we did this turn. We did the turn left, and now we're going to do the move. Okay. So now we're back at the top. We ju we just did the we just did the turn right because we turned left three times. Now we're at the top. Is, is R dot front is clear? Is that true? Yes, and right now it's true. So not true is false. So that now this condition is false. So are, we're not going to go inside this loop. Okay. So now now we're not going to go inside this loop. And if we're not going inside that loop, we're going to 
the next one, which is guy.move. Okay? And then we go back down. Okay, so that's it. I did want to show you a couple ways how to solve it. And uh, I did put it in a uh, in its own method because I thought it was nice, a nice little algorithm that we could call go to wall top. And, uh, and that's about it. So this is the code. There's two versions and uh, both work. This one is slightly preferred. It's a little bit shorter. But the, I did want to show you the other one with the uh, while true and having a break statement because sometimes you do need that. Okay. Well, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you at the next video.